Hello, this is Pastor Nick Hood, and I'm on the east side of Detroit, Michigan. I know, you look at this and you say, where in the world is this? And how in the world is this in Detroit? But I'm at this place, it's uh, almost as far east as you can go. I'm at Lakewood East Park. Uh, over there, behind me, is Mariner's Park. And if you go just about a mile further, you're in Gross Point. Uh, Michigan but I like this place this is the quietest place I could find today so I'm here but I want to talk to you about a Bible verse I've been reading from Philippians 3:13. Uh, finally brethren forgetting what is past uh, I strain forward to what is ahead uh, toward the high calling in Christ Jesus and this is the Apostle Paul he's uh, near his death He's writing from a Roman house jail, waiting trial uh, before a tribunal, maybe Caesar himself. Uh, but I want to focus on the first part of this verse. I forget what is behind me. You know, it's really important to have a sense of remembrance. Uh, you want to remember what's happened, uh, what went well, what went bad. But it's also important to let it go. And... Uh, because some people are just literally stuck in the past. They don't know when to cut it off. Uh, and so the word that I leave with you today is simply this. Learn how to put the past behind you, uh, both the good and the bad. Uh, I, you know, I try not to dwell on the past personally, uh, even my successes, because I know deep down inside, God willing, there will be another day. And for every day, if all I do is sit back and think about how great yesterday was, uh, I can't make the most of today. So that's the word I leave you with today. Uh, forget the past, strain forward to what is hid, and don't look back. God bless, God keep you, and remember, I'm praying for you. Will you join with me in prayer? Gracious Master and our God, I pray today that you might give each of us a sense of today, a sense of tomorrow, but also a sense of the past. Help me, O oh Lord God, in my own life uh, to make the most of this body, the most of this mind, the most of the heart that you've given to me. And what I do, what I say, hopefully will be acceptable in thy sight. In Jesus' name I pray.